children. Last week we have learned about Noah and his family members. They were in the ark. But today I am going to tell a story about the first rainbow. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you Lord for the love and care and protection. Thank you for many blessings you have poured upon us. As we are going to learn the story, the rainbow, help us and help us to remember whatever we are going to learn. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So last week, as we have learned, Noah and his family members, they were in the ark. 40 days and 40 nights, they were there. Rain poured and poured. The boat was going up and down and up and down. So, after some time, suddenly the rain stopped. So when it stopped, Noah, he was very happy. His family members were very happy. So slowly, slowly, the rain was going, the water was going down and down. So when it was going down, slowly, Noah and his family members, they were discussing how much God cared for them. They saved their lives. So, when the rain stopped, suddenly Noah thought of sending one bird, raven, to from window it came out and went all around but it could not find a new place to take rest. So it came back. After some time, Noah, he sent dove from window. It went all around and came back and Noah could take dove inside. Then after one week, again Noah he sent through window the door and went all around and it brought one olive leaf. So Noah thought, okay, something, the land is drying up. Then after one week, once again, Noah sent the Dough from window. So this time the dough could not come back. So they realized that land was dry. So they were waiting when the door was going to open because the angel was the one who shut the door. So they were waiting for the angel to come and open the door. Suddenly, one day, they could hear the cracking sound of the door. They were very happy and the door was open and Noah and his wife and three uh, boys and their wives, they were very happy. So they all came out. When they came out, they thanked God. You know, they want to give thanks to God. So they made an altar and they put the sticks and they they gave the sacrifice to God. The lamb was given to sacrifice as a um, thankfulness for God. They were very happy. Not only they, all the animals, they also came out of the ark. Okay? So, so when they offered this sacrifice, God promised something for them. And they saw one rainbow. Okay? 
red, orange, uh, yellow, green and blue and even um, purple and indigo. Okay, they saw the rainbow. God promised them that they are not going to have any more flood on the earth. So they were very thankful to God that he saved their lives. So they were very obedient to God. That's why God saved their lives. So here God promised Noah that he would never again destroy the earth with the flood. God said that when he would look upon the rainbow, he would remember his people on the earth. And when a rainbow appears, the people on the earth should be reminded the Lord's promise made to Noah. It is a token of love. God promise to the people of people on the earth. Thank you for listening and I would like to read one text from the Bible. Genesis 9th chapter 13th verse. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. So whenever you see the rainbow, you should remember God loves us. That's why he promised that he is not going to destroy the earth with flat. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the lovely day. Bless all the kids in the world. Bless everybody. I love you. Amen.